Hi, this is Mitch Watt with Riviera Financial Mortgage in Beverly Hills. Another day in the mortgage business. I want to let you know that I really appreciate you letting me assist you in getting the best mortgage financing for your home purchase or refinance. Also want to let you know that I keep an eye on the market and developments, and I'm always trying to keep you in front position so that you're ready to take advantage of any opportunity or have the best solutions to any problems that might arise. So with that in mind, I put this little informational message together. Please just take a moment to watch it. Let me know what you think and let me know if you have any questions that I can help you with. Thank you so much. Getting a home loan may seem overwhelming, but when you understand the steps in the process, you'll be able to move through the transaction easier. Let's take a look at the steps and the process beginning with identifying your needs. A good lender will ask you several questions to uncover your needs before jumping into quoting you the day's interest rate. This will ensure that the loan program is the best for you and your needs before you get quoted an interest rate. Each loan program has its benefits and depending upon how much you bring in for a down payment, what your credit score is, and what your debt to income ratio is, your lender will ask questions to identify the best option. You should receive a non-binding pre-application cost estimate for different loan scenarios. These are provided based on your credit score and an estimated valuation of the property. Your final price will be based on your confirmed credit score, acceptable property valuation, selected loan program, and market pricing as of the day and time you request a rate lock. Your lender will work with you to take a complete application. They will ask you for your income documentation, bank statements, and tax returns. It's important to provide them with all documentation as quickly and efficiently as you can. This will help expedite the process. Your lender will send you disclosures. This is different from your original loan estimate and will include all fees associated with your loan. This is called a loan estimate, and it is just that, an estimate of your loan costs. These costs may change through the process based upon when you lock your loan and the value of your home, which will be determined once you have your appraisal. After reviewing your options and addressing any questions, you will make a decision and notify your lender that you are ready to move forward with the loan application. This is called your intent to proceed. Your lender may charge you an upfront fee to pull your credit score. Once you have given your intent to proceed, your lender will order your appraisal. The appraisal will give you the value of your home based upon the appraiser's assessment. Once you have submitted all of your documentation and your appraisal is completed, your loan file will be reviewed by an underwriter. The underwriter may come back and ask for additional information to answer any questions they may have during the underwriting process. Your lender will notify you of any additional documentation needed. Again, it is important to provide this information to them in a timely fashion. You may lock in your interest rate at many different stages in the loan process. It can be done at the beginning of the process, before the loan goes to underwriting, or once the file is complete and out of underwriting. Your lender will work with you to discuss rates and options. Once you lock in your loan, that pricing will be locked in for the time frame that your lender tells you. It is important to lock in your interest rate for the duration that it will take to close your loan. If you do not, you stand the risk of losing your pricing if your loan takes longer to close. Once your loan has its final approval from the underwriter and all conditions are cleared, you will receive a clear to close from your lender. They will send you information that you need to follow that will include how to acknowledge your closing disclosures and how to close your loan. Just as you received your loan estimate at the beginning of the transaction, you will receive final disclosures that are called closing disclosure. The closing disclosure will show all the costs of your loan. You compare the costs in the closing disclosure with the costs in your loan estimate 
the cost should be the same. If there were changes during the loan process, you will have received an updated loan estimate reflecting those changes. If you have any questions about the cost, you should talk to your lender. Signing your commitment to the home loan happens with a settlement agent or attorney, depending on your state requirements. The settlement agent coordinates with the lender, the borrower, the buyer's agent, the seller, and the seller's agent, and the seller's lender in a purchase transaction to review all closing costs and provide final closing disclosures, verify all information, sign the closing documents, and when approved, disperse the funds for closing. Once all is complete, your transaction is finalized. Most loans take between 30 to 45 days from beginning to end. It's important to stay in communication with your lender during the process. And if you have any questions, make sure and get your questions answered. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you would like to discuss it further. So if you would, please feel free to call me, Mitch Millat, Riviera Financial Mortgage, 424-290-8294. You can also email me, Mitch at rivierafinancial.com. You can also find me on Instagram at Mitchell Millat or on my Facebook homepage, Mitch Millat, Riviera Financial, Beverly Hills. Thank you so much. Look forward to talking to you soon and wishing you much, much success in the future.